Hi, I'm so excited to talk to you all today about vocal registers. That is to say that I'm going to be talking about chest voice, head voice, and everything in between, which is to say our passaggi. So those are the passages of our voices that we need to navigate. And those passages are between chest voice and head voice. So chest voice is around where we speak. So uh, these are around the lowest notes of our vocal range. And on the other end of the spectrum, you have head voice. And head voice is what you access in order to sing the highest notes in your vocal range. So one of the most helpful explanations that I got about this was from one of my former voice teachers. Uh, that's Carlos Conde, so shout out. And the way he explained it was like this. So you have the color purple. And the color purple is made up of two colors, red and blue. So red would be chest voice. Let's imagine red as chest voice on one end of the spectrum. And then we have blue as head voice, and that is the other end of the spectrum. So the lower notes in our vocal range are going to be shades of reddish purple. And then the notes that are higher in our range are going to be shades of bluish purple. So you're going to be mixing chest voice and head voice all throughout your vocal range. But whether you're using more chest voice or more head voice is really going to depend on what part of your vocal range you happen to be in. So I will sing a couple of phrases from the aria Una voce poco fa to demonstrate. And this is Rosina's aria from Rossini's Il Barbiere di Siviglia, or The Barber of Seville. I'm going to look at una voce poco fa in the key of F major, that is in the soprano key, but all of the concepts that I'm going to talk about apply just as well to the key of E major, so that is the mezzo soprano key. So first, this aria begins on an F above middle C, so this is going to be in a shade of reddish purple. So. Uh, you're going to have a mix of chest voice and head voice, but because you're still quite low in your vocal range, it's still going to be chest dominant. Then you go significantly higher in your vocal range. So that is a C above middle C for those of you following at home. And so you're going to be adding a lot more blue in order to sing that note. So a lot more head voice. Then you're going to end up at the octave below. So back to middle C and you're going to be integrating a lot more chest voice to sing that note. So to demonstrate. Una voce poco fa, qui nel cor mi risuono. So now I'm going to demonstrate the other end of the vocal spectrum, which is to say head voice or rather the color blue, if we're using the analogy of the color purple. We are going to be going from C5, that is the C above middle C, and then we're going to be going to F, that is above that C5. So both notes are going to be shades of bluish purple. They're going to be mixes of head voice and chest voice, but with mostly head voice. And then you end up on this high C, that is a C6. And then for all intents and purposes, you're going to be fully in blue, fully in head voice. So to demonstrate. And then you end up at D, which is above middle C. So then we're back at a chest dominated uh, mix again. That is a reddish purple mix. So you see, una voce poco fa is made up of all of these different shades of purple. And when you conceive of the aria as being all of these different shades, it makes it easier to navigate these changes in chest voice and head voice, low notes and high notes that happen within a nanosecond.